i used speed for uh, some two three mocks before the exam uh, and it will help for you sure if you are interested in that you can go deep into that yeah don't miss the regular things for the preparation for the sake of competitive exam because mainly you want to become a good doctor so i wish you all the very best and all the success for a great career in dm cardiovascular imaging and endovascular intervention and congratulations out the outset for scoring aml rank number 1 and cml rank number 2 in nss november 2025 examination in super specialty of dm cardiovascular imaging and endovascular intervention best wishes to you doctor thank you sir. thank you so can we know a brief background about yourself from where you started till date what i have done yeah i did my ug in karnal uh, medical college that is i am i'm from andhra pradesh uh, and uh, since after that i got uh, i nss uh, then i did my pg in jipmer radiology and uh, I still didn't finish my course. I have ten days left to finish my course. <laughs> That's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. and I uh, just give it a shot of uh, writing. I was not sure but before uh, uh, writing the exam. Then after writing the exam, I was like, okay, I can go through the interview, uh, the process, and all. But I didn't expect uh, the rank. So, so uh, what inspired you to do a DM super charity after your MD program? Oh, sir, uh, that was there, sir. Before uh, even joining radiology. i had uh, thought of doing the intervention because yeah i planned it like like, like that so i had a plan of uh, doing it but i didn't know uh, once i joined only i got to because i joined in jipper i got to know there are so many opportunities in intervention also like you yeah, can go to neuroimaging and neuro intervention and general ir now we can go to cardiovascular imaging and peripheral intervention so so some of the seniors are there who took or whatever i got last time so uh, so they had also have some impact on me Uh, once i got to the second sem i planned okay uh, i wanted this so i i did i was starting uh, like whatever i can read is can go deep into the uh, imaging part but uh, nothing out of the part like you know basics are important basically that's what i was telling and for the examination part uh, i want to tell the other people like uh, see uh, you can't uh, just uh, uh, what you say throw aside the basic regular uh, regular work that are you do that you are doing in the college like uh, ultrasound ct imaging reporting and all you cannot do that and and sit for the separate preparation because in the basic that the the question paper will be mostly based on the basics because 50 questions maybe 50 questions say uh, the the examination when i wrote i expected there are so simple questions are there so and some are uh, daily based questions are there when you are trying to do something you go somewhat deep into that it might help uh, in the time great now how can you share your preparation strategy what all you did to achieve this right yes <laughs> preparation strategy means sir, to be frank sir i used speed for uh, some two three mocks before the exam to know the exam pattern by the way other than uh, that uh, i couldn't use any other things because i don't have that much of time in my regular uh, uh, duty th- duty things uh, regular work and all so uh, in that only so because of my curriculum in the, co- the college which used to have uh, presentations and all monthly we will have some two three presentations that uh, you just read the basics and somehow what helped me is uh, my exams my uh, theory exams got over on november 20 and the next two days i had exam so somehow that also helped me uh, otherwise i don't know yeah it, it would have been difficult because you can't recall that in the exam the basic questions and all and you will be worried about okay whether it is right or not i don't know can you share about the pattern of the paper what was asked in the paper what was they focusing on more on how much on yes sir how much on speciality yes sir uh, mine was uh, cardiovascular and uh, endovascular intervention so They, uh, and i asked the other people also they had also the similar pattern uh, 40 to 50 questions will be the basic patterns basic uh, general in, general radiology questions will be there, like physics or uh, they will be giving some spotters short spotters and all uh, and the rest of the 30 questions will be purely based on the uh, main subject like cardiac imaging and uh, intervention so i had some knowledge about cardiac imaging because my college has some uh, like many we can see many uh, different different types of cardiac uh, uh, cases so and intervention also it is there but uh, they, yeah we won't be able to do that though because we are uh, separate dm sub dm people are there for that uh, yeah 
for that i read some other books for that other than that uh, oh yeah uh, 30 questions will be cardiac imaging plus intervention will be there plus for 30 to 40, uh, 40 to 50 are uh, based just general radiology great yes now how did you prepare for interview what were they asking you in the interview yes, sir seriously sir i didn't even know what they ask uh, like i asked uh, like, i could I, i i called my seniors who got into the last thing they told there were there was no interview for them last time because there were only seats three seats and they were only three people were qualified for okay. that <laughs> and there were no other. and i called my senior senior uh, uh, like uh, the second the two years back uh, i asked them like what was that then they told uh, some uh, spotters will be asked uh, they told that and uh, i was okay oh, spotters means what spotters like there are so many and they, they, once you give a cardiac imaging spotters nobody can be able to tell like that that can be difficult and for me uh, they gave uh, three uh, three or four uh, exam cases to present uh, case case presentations they gave and they asked me to present the cases that's what they uh, that total different to i didn't expect that part and i don't know how i got that part marks also great now uh, what is the advice that you want to give for the future aspirants yes sir uh, i want to give advice it's not advice sir i am not in a position to give an advice to other people but yeah what i went through this that is uh, uh, i didn't miss anything that happens in the college i daily go to the college i will go through the all the uh, what do you call uh, daily work that you been posted in either it is ultrasound or ct or mri or fluoroscopy so i try to be good in that things uh, and it will help for you sure and you read particularly uh, regarding those things that you daily see some cases if you see some uh, like cardiac like uh, non non ischemic cardiomyopathy you go deep into that part or just if you are interested in that you can go deep into that yeah don't miss the regular things for the preparation for the sake of competitive exam because mainly you want to become a good doctor not uh, see exam maybe that will help in the mbbs because uh, once you get into the pg you need to be as close to uh, the college and all this great yeah now time to thank and whom all you want to thank that they helped yes, you so many people are there yeah so many first yeah my parents are there uh, and uh, there are some big friends uh, my uh, i was very well received my friends uh, my seniors are there uh, can i tell the names if you don't mind please, please. Yeah, yeah first my uh, my friends like pranita uh, hari sir uh, chamini tejo kavya subhu my juniors so many people are there jai ankit sir subhu subhu so many people are there all of them are uh, kavya swachita abhinav these these people are uh, close to me and we this uh, like you know uh, you think pg is a very uh, difficult times you won't feel like you know it is a toxic thing you won't feel like you know doing sometimes i never felt like that in my whole three years because i had these three uh, these kind these all four uh, these people and these people made me uh, feel home and i i frankly sir uh, i don't know whether i can tell this or not i go to college like a picnic i just go enjoy and come back great yeah uh, without them i wouldn't have this kind of uh, rank and all yeah that's what i really get to them all of them so once again we wish you all the very best and all the success for a great and wonderful career in dm uh, interventional uh, radiology and cardiovascular imaging best wishes to you doctor thank you great achievement